कि इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल में देश विदेशी कलाकार फिल्में निर्देशक दिखाई देते हैं ऐसे ही कलाकार हमारे सामने जिनका नाम है रिकार्डो बम्बईज और वो है इटाली से उनका एक सिनेमा था जिसका स्क्रीनिंग हो चुका है उनका नाम था जाए एक फॉरेनर जो एक्टर है उनकी नज़र से हम भारतीय जो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री उसको देखने का एक देखने की कोशिश करेंगे रिकार्डो हाई वेलकम टू स्क्रीन करा So uh, my film, uh, I can tell the story of my film, but you will understand really well because the story is a little bit uh, the side. It's more about like emotion being brought about the scene and uh, making like the understand with some empathy with the spectator uh, for those uh, friends that uh, meet in a, a family house of one of them. And uh, they do drugs, but drugs are symbolistic for uh, just show how we took self-destructive self behavior after losing something that uh, for once can be he lost his family, but none like they died. He had uh, a daughter and a wife, and he managed to broke up his uh, like wedding. So he lost like uh, this particular uh, stuff in his life that was really important to him. So he started to have uh, like uh, really bad behavior and self-destructive behavior. Also, there is another character uh, which uh, saw his uh, girlfriend betraying him, so he stopped uh, tra like believing in love. And that's really bad, but because uh, you know there are two kinds of uh, thinking, two way of thinking. One that say, hey, my friend, uh, stay cool like uh, the sea is full of fishes and it's a little bit superficial i think you have to understand the other way is understand the pain of the others even if you don't share it because maybe you are in the school of thinking of the that there are uh, other fish in the sea but uh, you have to understand the pain of others they don't say hey just don't think it just uh, go, life goes on of course life goes on but don't be rude to it him like for that so uh, drugs was there but was just a symbolistic way to it could be everything that you must indulge it could be a slot machine or bad behavior or wrestling in a bar or uh, gambling or uh, torching in food and everything to cope with emotional pain so the movie was actually uh, like I will say like a piece of art like a paint that uh, it doesn't tell a story it just uh, Tell something. We want to tell something. Build the empathy with the spectator to make understand that, that those people, yes, they look bad. They have uh, like they seem bad and rude outside, but you don't know what's going on in their life. So with flashback, uh, is you you understand why the character like uh, uh, act in a certain way, uh, have certain behaviors, and uh, to be kind, like to be kind because you will never know like. What the other people are experiencing or have experienced. Like, well, I want to start saying that uh, when I was young, uh, my, a dream of mine was uh, to be a rock star. A rock star, the one with, uh, like, you know, Guns N' Roses. Yeah, the one that burned their guitar and smashed, but my voice uh, like wasn't so nice for rock. So I wanted to work on um, on entertainment, but I was thinking about TV shows or uh, like yeah, uh, be the presenter of certain uh, shows. Uh, I don't know what happened uh, randomly. I would like to say that it was a dream of mine when I was trying to be an actor, and after hard work, I reach. Uh, uh, the dream, but uh, it it went like really randomly. I was like walking by the streets of Rome, and I saw like uh, this school, and I say it would be nice. I don't know what they do inside. I don't know what to expect. But why I don't like uh, try and go in? So I booked like a tryout. I would say tryout, uh, and uh, I went in, and uh, I had a monologue that uh, I. Completely messed it up. However, they say that I was, they will take me because I look at good in camera. That's what they say. At the same time, I'm from Sa uh, Sardinia, uh, a small state in Italy, uh, a small island. 
At the same time, uh, in uh, my island, uh, Bonifacio Angels, the director of this movie, was uh, pre uh, making a school, like a seminary. It was like a six months uh, uh, course, where he teach about photography, acting, and uh, directing uh, scenography. So I say, well, it would be nice if they take me in Rome, like uh, this year, they can take me next year, but this year I take advantage of this opportunity in my hometown. And so I went in, not knowing what to expect to that, and uh, I learned, uh, he taught me many things about acting, and uh, we built a nice relationship with the director of this movie. And uh, while we were in lockdown, he wanted to do this movie uh, during the pandemic, uh, and he contacted me and said, hey, I have the, this movie going on, can you come to my studio? Then I came in, he gave me the script, read in one hour, and uh, it was either yes or no. Do you like it? Or, uh, yes or no? Tell me fast, because uh, time is ticking. It was written and recorded like in two months and a half. It was great. The movie was written and done in two months and a half. All things done. And uh, so I said yes, I must took part, even because I felt like uh, we were in lockdown. We were like closed in our houses. We couldn't do anything, not even go for a job. So I feel like a dog's cage, you know, with the, oh, the chicken, the chicken in the morning, you know, if you open the, the chicken yard, uh, the chicken are like ready to, to run, as soon as you open the, the door, they start running and sprint down back, down back, down back, and then they chill out. So I felt like this, and other actors too felt like this, so there was a much, uh, uh, much passion and emotion going on in that movie, and during the recording, the making of that movie, because we are uh, at the something to prove, we were like, uh, something to show that uh, oh, we wanted to live I, that's what we were missing we wanted actually to live to feel alive is it your first film yeah this is my first film but actually after this i did another one uh, which is called the aria ferma that went to venice uh, festival this one went to locarno it was really nice <laughs> It leaves me speechless, actually. All right. Uh, so, I went to many festivals in Europe. I went to Locarno, I went to Berlin, and some other, like, around. And uh, I will say that, uh, let's say this, I will say the truth. In Europe, there are more support, financial support. Let's say this. Here, there is way more passion, and the movie, the cinema, is at the center of the focus. Because like in Venice, there were in the red carpet a doctor, a doctor which uh, was saying to get vaccinated. Actually, I'm not against the vaccination or not, but if you're in a film festival, why there is a doctor in a red carpet? I mean, it's not uh, the right thing you know, to attend like, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, maybe I should not say that, but uh, that's what I think. Uh, I speak my mind. And uh, here, even if the, the will come big stars, the movies are the center of the festival. So you can breathe uh, here, like the passion and uh, the culture, actually, of in what India have for cinema. And it's awesome. You guys leave me speechless. Also, people are really welcoming, uh, and in Europe too. But you guys are uh, smiling to each other. Because in Europe, you know, they smile to us to actors, to directors, and then you can see the gardener that is uh, being cursed because maybe have done some mistakes. But here you guys are, I was uh, looking around, and you guys are always cool, it's crazy. Are always calm down, have your like right manners to tell people that maybe they have done some mistakes. Yeah, you guys yell, you get angry too, of course. But you have really, really fine manners, and I feel like I'm home. Like, it's crazy. Like, you guys are really warm. I really uh, this touch the bottom of my heart because you don't see much in in Europe, in the Western uh, countries, this kind of kindness and humanity. You come from the Italian cinema. It's so You What's the observation? Observation about the Italian uh, Let's say that I think that uh, Italy was uh, really, really strong at the beginning. Like, uh, Ameri uh, like the Americans came in Italy to learn from us how to do cinema. Yeah. Then something went wrong. I don't understand why. Like, Italy lost romanticism, lost uh, so much passion in the making. 
and started to copy what Americans were doing. But Americans were copying us, so I don't know how we ended up. So there was a really, really drop in the quality of cinema in Italy for many years. But now I saw some growth, really big growth, uh, thanks to independent, uh, thanks to independent director. One, uh, one of those is Bonifacio Angels, the director of the Giants. And there are many others that still are not don't get uh, so much financial support, but they still manage to make their movies and make nice, really nice and touching movie that talks about people. Because uh, superhero superhero are nice. Um, it's nice to see a lot of uh, fancy stuff, a uh, lot of CGA, a lot of uh, special effects. But what will last in the end are uh, movies uh, made from real stories of people, and movies uh, of humanity and uh, with emotion. That's what will last. Like you will see maybe get uh, man, make many money some uh, superhero movies, but. You will forget in three years. In three years you will forget and you won't get back to watch it. But there are films that are made with passion and with emotion that you will get back and watch many times and many times and many times. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. You are really, really nice.